Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be giving an update on Isaac's shelf. For the end of July, I did say in my last shelf update video that I wanted to do an update because I was expecting a couple of new things, so let's get started. For Isaac's sensory basket, I still have this handheld mirror from the dollar store. I also have just cut up some little silky pieces of fabric. This is from an old dress that didn't fit me anymore. And this is from a store that actually, it, this is actual sari silk from India, uh, from a really neat local store. They make bags for your clothes out of this, so I just cut one up. And it's very interesting for a child to, um, to throw them and just watch them fall to the ground. And then I have some textured ribbons on rings as kind of a teether slash um, textural uh, thing as well. And these were made from just shower curtains that I got from a thrift store and the ribbons were, are from Michael's. Just They have these bags that are like $2 for a bunch of ribbons. I still have his drag racer thing. He is getting a little bit better at the accuracy of putting the cars on the ramp racer things. Um, but he still kind of needs someone to be with him for this uh, as well. Something new that I just got are these little Velcro food pieces. And right now he's just loving literally ripping them apart with his hands, but it does come with a little wooden knife and look at the cute little tray that it's into. And so eventually we'll get to cutting those as well. He still has his bean bags that he likes to throw around. And I did put back the uh, Galt pop-up toy Musical instruments are a xylophone, of course, a little shaker, and a blow whistle that you pull the bottom. The puzzle of current interest is this neat one I found also just about various tractors. We have this massive construction site that goes on by our house, and I think he's just become interested in noisy machines because of that, so he really likes this. I have two towers slash stacking cup things for him right now. He mostly just likes to knock it over, uh, but he is trying to place them back on. And this is the newest thing that I have. And this is actually, so I've been doing quite a bit of digging into any sort of subscription boxes that I want to start for Isaac. Um, you may have seen in my other video that we do already have a KiwiCo's subscription for Asher, which has been phenomenal. would highly recommend it for an older kid. But I wanted to see if there was something a little bit uh, more Montessori for a younger kid. So I did a lot of digging and I looked at uh, KiwiCo, I looked at Love Every, I looked at Montessori by Mom, I looked at a few others. And I'm super happy with, with the KiwiCo uh, choice. Really impressed with the quality of materials really impressed with actually how Montessori in developmental style the activities are. By the way, this video is not sponsored by KiwiCo in any way. I just have been really enjoying what they've been providing for the, in terms of quality and how much you're paying for it. New books that I have out is this hilarious one about dogs. Also with the Panda Crate, uh, they give a little board book and Isaac's on his own been mostly enjoying looking at books with real people. So I've put back this uh, Kiss Tickle Cuddle book and I found this hilarious one all about toes. He really just likes looking at the pictures of the, the real life people though. Well, that's it for the end of July shelf update. I am looking forward to getting the next KiwiCo box because I am really enjoying what's been in it. Let me know if you have any questions about where I found some of the other things or what has been working really well so far. Ah, I had one more thought about the KiwiCo, which I really wanted to bring up, which is 
even though it's not a Montessori box in itself, the materials in terms of their purposes and their looks and their quality is very, very conducive to Montessori. So I like that as well because of that. Until then, stay safe, stay sane, and I'll catch you next time.